Hello, Wonder Hussy here in a place I've been wanting to shoot a video in for a long time. The fantastic desert town of Amboy. Uh, I hesitate to even call it a town because according to the 2000 census, only something like four or five people lived here. But there is a post office and you can see right here, Amboy, California, 92304. Almost as glamorous as 90210, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Amboy is just a lonely little blip on a extremely desolate, lonely desert highway known as Old Route 66. That's right, Old Route 66, the mother road, runs right through Amboy, as does the railroad, which is why you can hear the sound of that freight train passing. So basically between the railroad and Route 66, Amboy is the crossroads of America. Okay, I'm being somewhat facetious, but there is a lot of interesting stuff for a place where there's only four or five people living. Most notably, Roy's Motel and Cafe. A truly iconic example of mid-century modern architecture and signage. I mean, isn't that one of the best signs you've ever seen? I mean, talk about classic Americana. Uh, not to mention the cool old classic car, the old motel cabins, and this amazing old, well, I guess this was the lobby of the motel. I mean, my best guess is that Amboy owed its existence to Route 66, you know, all them people cruising along the mother road all the way from Chicago to LA. And they had just left Kingman, headed for Barstow, and they needed a place to stop and get a nice cold drink. Or maybe it was night and they needed a place to stay. And Amboy was the place to be for both. Wow, I will say that the people who own this old Roy's Motel, which by the way, it hasn't been a motel for many, many years. These cabins are all vacant and we'll go poke our nose in a, in a minute. I don't even know, I think there is still gas here. It shows, oh golly, 649. Well, I guess in a pinch, you'd be happy to pay 649 or 749 or even 1049 because there ain't no gas stations for many, many, many miles in any direction from here. So if you run out of gas in Amboy, you better pay whatever they're asking. Anyway, what I was gonna say is whoever owns this Roy's Cafe now has a great sense of aesthetics. I mean, they got this boss old, what is that, a Chevrolet Mark IV? Is that what that said? I don't know, I don't know cars. Or does that say Continental? Oh, maybe it's a Lincoln, is that a Lincoln? Golly, everybody watching this is probably laughing at me right now. Okay, whatever it is, it's badass and it's parked at the base of this iconic sign i love how no isn't lit up on the vacancy there's plenty of vacant rooms here let's go take a look let's go look in the old motel lobby now my understanding is this guy named albert okura owned this town uh i guess he bought it from this couple who used to run the motel and gas station for I think less than $500,000 back in 1995. And he planned to turn it into a destination. He was gonna fix it all up like 1960s Route 66 and you know make it a place where you could eat a meal and you could get a cold soda or you could stay the night. You could take pictures of all these classic cars. Well, unfortunately, Albert Okura died, I think about a year ago. So I don't know, I guess it got passed to his kids. Hopefully somebody else in his family will be as dedicated to preserving the history as he was because he did some really cool stuff here. Which you can see by looking through the window of the uh, old motel lobby. Look at that old Victrola record player in a suitcase. How cool is that? Sitting on top of a real old piano. And then there's a picture. That must be, that must be a painting of the couple who ran Roy's motel. Maybe that's Roy. And I love how he put a pair of glasses on the Bible or whatever that book is. Just like whoever was reading it set them down just a minute ago. But meanwhile, that was probably like 75 years ago. Anyway, I just think it's really cool that he fixed this up so that it does. It looks like the lobby would have looked if you were traveling Route 66 back in the 1960s, you would have walked up to this awesome orange desk to check in that cool old rotary telephone. That's when phones were phones and 
adding machines were adding machines. Wow, look, you can even see the old room keys up on the wall there behind the adding machine. Then look at that, there's a real old timey telephone. I guess this place was probably open even back when phones like that were used. Look at the amazing lobby. They got that badass couch, those old suitcases. I mean, this place, oh my God, you could have the most amazing party in here. You know what I mean? If you're into like mid-century modern, like uh, that TV show Mad Men, you could have a banger of a cocktail party in this lobby. And as a matter of fact, there's even an old record player, one of those really cool record players that's in a cabinet with some tunes. I mean, you could put on some Ray Anthony, do a little dancing. Or look, there's one on the coffee table too. Holiday in Rome. Michel Legrand. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, that's not what I wanted to point out. What I wanted to point out was, if I zoom in, you can see there is a bar in the back. Look at that. There's a secret bar behind them sliding glass doors. So you really could have a friggin' cocktail party. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, next to the bar, there's that sparkly beaded curtain. Wow. We all know what's behind a sparkly beaded curtain like that. Remember back in the day when you go to Blockbuster Video to rent a movie and they had the adult section in the back with the beaded curtain you had to walk through just to keep the kids from seeing all them adult movies? Anyway, I'm just saying you could have an epic dress up cocktail party in here. And as a matter of fact, if the people who own this place now happen to be watching this video and you're in any position to facilitate such a party, please call me because I've got the outfits, I've got the cocktails, and I definitely have the music. Okay, anyway, there is a whole bunch of crazy crap in Amboy, and if I don't want this video to be three hours long, I better get started poking around. So first, Let's see what's inside these motel cabins. I remember one time I came in one of these and it was like an art exhibit. This artist had uh, bottled his urine. I know that sounds gross, but he had all these bottles of his piss uh, showing how long it had been since he'd drunk water. And so his urine got yellower and yellower as time went by. I don't know, it was weird, but it was in one of these one time. All there is in this one now is this Amboy Desert. And with a line going all the way to the Alech Glacier. What? Well, this is kind of cool being in here, though, because it gives you an idea of what a... If you stayed at Roy's Motel back in the day in one of these little cabins, this is what you would have stayed in. Okay, after you picked up your key at the front desk, you would have gone over here. You could have turned on the porch light so that you weren't standing in the dark. Huh? And then you walk in, and here's your... This is a pretty big motel room, I guess. This was sort of like the seating area and then this was the bedroom i mean i don't know any motels that have living rooms anymore and then there's a this is a closet you can hang all your freshly pressed suits you know how people used to dress way nicer back in the day like even when they were traveling on a road trip you never saw people wearing their pajamas out and about like you do now nowadays back then everything was tailored and pressed and the men wore hats and so you would have needed a place to hang that up in fact i don't know why they even bother with closets and motel rooms nowadays since all anyone wears is pajamas anyway this would have been your bathroom you know the finest toilet the finest sink and the finest shower <laughs> Anyway, there's a whole long line of these motel cabins. Art and research on water scarcity. <laughs> Boy, I'll say there's no water. Well, there must be some kind of water out here. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been founded in the first place. I think it was founded as a railroad town so that the railroads could take on water. So there must be some kind of aquifer or something. Although, uh, I don't know, because now that I think about it, I think one of the reasons when that guy, uh, Okura, Albert Okura, bought the ghost town and was trying to, you know, get it going again with the cafe and all, I don't think he was able to reopen the cafe because there's no potable water here. Now, maybe he just couldn't afford to dig a well, which is a pretty big problem if you're trying to reopen a cafe. It's interesting to think about, you know, these smartly dressed travelers headed west to Santa Monica on Old Route 66, and they stop in the middle of the desert used to probably be able to go get a nice hot meal in there, you know, back in the 50s, you get a little, I don't know, the guy probably would have had like a steak and eggs and the, the woman would have just had like cottage cheese and a hamburger patty. You know, they always have the gross diet plate. It's like lettuce, a hamburger patty and cottage cheese. And then after your meal, 
come back to your sumptuous room, hang out and have cocktails in the living room, and then pass out in bed on the bedroom side. Although interestingly, not all of these cabins have two rooms. Maybe that was like the, you know, king suite or whatever, the honeymoon suite. Although you would think the honeymoon suite would just be a bed and nothing else. I think this is the cabin that had those jars of piss in it because there's some shelves mounted on the wall. Gosh, I don't know. I've got an imagination. I can picture exactly what this place probably looked like. And it was probably amazing as was everything else in this town. I keep using quotation marks when I say town because you know only four or five people have lived here for the past mm, 30 years. But I guess, you know, back in the 30s, 40s, it was an actual town. And I know that because there was a school here. Look at that, Amboy School. How about that? Can you imagine growing up out here and going to the Amboy School? I'm guessing it's just called Amboy School because it was probably high school, elementary school, and middle school. All the kids in a 50 mile radius, maybe even a 100 mile radius, all must have gone to this school. And it's a real shame. There's a fence here. It looks like a really cool building to go poke around in, look at that. But there is this, look at this. Looks like the kids all put their handprints and footprints in some cases on an old piece of cement and they have a chunk of it just leaning against the fence here. That's kind of cool. You know, stuff like this is a reminder of the real people who lived real lives in places like this. You know, a lot of times these YouTubers go to these little ghost towns in the middle of nowhere and they go, oh, uh, well, look at this, the hills have eyes, meth lab, serial killers. Yeah, all of that is probably true, but there were people who lived and loved and dreamed even in the middle of nowhere in a place like Amboy. Okay, unfortunately, most of the good stuff here is fenced off. Next to the school, there's, I guess this was also part of the motel. You know, it looks like a long, low slung building with a bunch of motel rooms just behind those cabins. So yeah, the cabins were probably, you know, kind of fancy top dollar accommodations. You know, like the suites, if you will. But either way, up front or out back, I would have loved to have stayed here when it was open. Oh, look at this. This is a trailer for this business that the guy who used to own the town ran. And unfortunately, you can't even make out the name anymore, but if you look real close, it's kind of sun-baked and burned away, but you might be able to make out where it says Juan Pollo, which if you don't speak Spanish means Chicken John. Oh, like there's a van over there where you can read it clear as day. Well, that was the name of this dude's business. You know, this Albert Okura who bought this town. I guess that's how he made his money. He had a chain of chicken restaurants, I guess, in, I think in the LA area called Juan Pollo. And apparently he did well enough to where he had a, an extra $495,000 laying around <laughs> to buy an old ghost town. I don't know. I personally think that's a great way to spend money. And if he was still alive, I'd love to meet him because he's probably a super cool guy. I mean, what else, do you, what else are you gonna spend your money on? You, know, you can buy fancy cars, you could buy drugs, you could buy women, but that's so boring. I'd way rather buy a ghost town. And I ain't talking about Cerro Gordo. I'm talking about Amboy, California. Okay, all that stuff like the motel and the school, that's all on the other side of Route 66. But I came over here to this side because there's some pretty interesting stuff over here too. Like this cute old car. What do you guys think that is? I thought it was Herbie the love bug at first, but it's obviously not a beetle. It just has a similar paint job. I don't know. Looks sporty, European. Oh, well, I was going to say sporty and European. Now I think it looks more like something the Manson family would have driven. Although that is very Herbie the love bug. I love that paint job. You know, you think of Route 66 and the 60s more like the square Mad Men version of the 60s, but I'll bet you anything, there were plenty of hippies traveling old Route 66 back in the day. Like Easy Rider, didn't the guys from Easy Rider ride their choppers down Route 66? I don't know. Anyway, then next to that car, there's also this totem pole, I guess you could call it. Sort of like a shoe tree. There's a lot of shoes on it, but there's also just a lot of glass bottles and junk and 
t-shirts and tin cans and basically mostly a bunch of litter but because it's all tacked to a telephone pole i guess that makes it art look at this a stripper shoe you ever want to see inside a stripper shoe that's what it looks like and i'll put it next to the cowboy boot they can be together for all time it wouldn't be the first cowboy and the first stripper to hook up am i right oh dear i was gonna say is this telephone pole happy to see me or is that a very faded christmas stocking i think it's just a very faded christmas stocking <laughs> that unfortunately kind of looks like a, you know what. Anyway, now that we've explored where the travelers would have hung out here in Amboy, let's check out where the locals would have hung out. It looks like there's an old church back here. Boy, yeah, look, it says here that this was St. Raymond's Church. Which according to the sign here, closed back in 1970 because there weren't enough people living here, wow. I guess they've had that problem since 1970. It says the guy who donated the land that this church is built on was Roy Cowell, who is the guy that Roy's Motel is named after. So I guess this guy Roy Cowell was a prosperous landowner here. He donated the money so they could build this awesome cinder block church. Yeah, you don't see too many churches, at least not in this part of the world, built out of cinder block, but I'm here to tell you it was built to last. It's still here. Look, there's a chair. We can climb up and look through this busted window. I know I'm very curious to see what's in here. Can you see anything? Oh, wow. Yeah, look. The old pews. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That is so freaking cool. That's enough to make me want to go to church. I'm not saying quite a bit. And then there's a whole bunch more abandoned buildings scattered all over the place out here. I guess this guy, Albert Okura, when he bought the town, he bought the town. I think it was over 400 acres. Uh, all these buildings belong to his heirs now. And like I said earlier, I sure hope they plan to do something cool with this place. Cause I mean, you could make this into such a badass destination. And yes, of course it would take a lot of money. First you'd have to drill a well. So there was water. So you could have a cafe. You could have a fully functioning gas station. You could have a motel. You could have boss parties in mad men costumes, or you could do hippie easy, easy rider parties. You could have all kinds of amazing, immersive historical cosplay events out here. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one nerdy enough to want to go to a historical cosplay party, but I don't know. A billion and one Civil War reenactors might prove me wrong. Look at this old piano. Creepy old piano, a couple more church pews. Not much else. Actually, I guess they do use Amboy, or they did use Amboy in a lot of movies. I think there's been a bunch of famous movies and music videos like that Enrique Iglesias song, I could be your hero, baby. I think they filmed that here. The Hitcher. Remember that movie, The Hitcher with Rutger Hauer? Rutger Hauer. He was this murderous hitchhiker. Well, I guess they filmed that here. Matter of fact, you know who likes to come to Amboy? According to what I read online, Harrison Ford. Apparently Harrison Ford, I guess he's got a private pilot's license and he likes to fly his airplane into i don't know where the airstrip is but according to wikipedia whenever his schedule allows harrison ford likes to drop in anyway like i said there's a bunch of abandoned old buildings here and i wasn't even gonna go in them but i mean golly what a tableau this looks like the old church organ you know this was probably in that cinder block church and some little church lady sat here playing what a friend we have in Jesus. Oh look, there's a box of books too. David Baldacci, Louise Mulbach. Oh wow, this is actually a cool book. Muhammad Ali and his house. What? This book was published in 1893. Must have been a different Muhammad Ali. Seriously though, with all these busted old abandoned buildings, I can definitely see why there are so many movies and music videos and stuff like that shot here. Look at this, is this the family that used to live here? The walls? Or is that just the fanciest graffiti I've ever seen? Look at that, etched or carved into a wood plaque. Well, I guess maybe the a family named The Walls lived here. Oh my gosh, look at, I mean, all this is all such epic ruin porn. You know, this is the kind of stuff some people just go bonkers over. 
Okay, there are a ton of abandoned old houses out here, which I'm not gonna go poke in every single one of them because I think this town is still privately owned and I don't wanna step on anybody's toes. And besides, why go poking around a bunch of filthy old abandoned houses when I could check out something really interesting? Look at this, it's a giant golden Buddha completely covered with stickers. I guess travelers who come by just put their stickers on it. Isn't that super offensive to the Buddha? I mean, I'm not a Buddhist, but I would think it would be rude to put your Jeep sticker on his nose. Damn Jeepers. Oh wow, look at this. It's in German. It says, net here, aber waren sie schon mal in Baden-Württemberg? Okay, I happen to speak a little bit of German and that means not here, but have you ever been to Baden-Württemberg? And yes, I have, as a matter of fact, Baden-Württemberg, I think, is a state in Germany, and I used to live there when my dad was in the army. We lived in Heidelberg, and I'm pretty sure Heidelberg is in Baden-Württemberg. So my answer to that sticker is, Jawohl! Anyway, I'm not sure how I feel about all these stickers on this Buddha. I mean, I'm not a religious person, so to me, Buddha, Jesus, Santa Claus. It's all pretty much the same. Although it does look like, gosh, somebody broke off the Buddha's hand. Now that I feel like would be bad luck. You know, what if this golden Buddha comes back to life when the moon is full and goes in search of his missing hand? And some jeeper in Rancho Cucamonga who has that hand hidden under his bed is gonna wake up in the middle of the night and hear a voice. Give me my hand. Or maybe some jackass in Bottom Wurttemberg. Or I don't know, maybe it's not offensive at all. Maybe Albert Okura, which Okura sounds Japanese. Maybe he was Buddhist, but the kind of Buddhist who didn't mind people putting stickers all over his religious shrine. Just a guess. It's interesting if he was Japanese that he started a chain of restaurants called Wan Boyo. You know, you think he would have started like a teriyaki joint or something. Or sushi or something, you know what I mean? Wow, people just leave their shoes here. There used to be a shoe tree nearby, and I guess people are mad that it fell over. So they're just going to leave their shoes in the desert, by golly. Wow, this poor Buddha. Oh, look, there's a hole. You ever want to see what's inside a Buddha? Could it be the answer? Enlightenment, even? Nirvana? Hello! What is the answer? Nothing. Well, that's very Buddhist. Ah, look, tucked away behind the motel, here's Roy's airport. And look at that. There's a Beamer with California plates parked out front. Oh, maybe Harrison Ford is in town. Or maybe he just leaves a Beamer parked here for when he's in Amboy, you know, just to get around town in. Okay, anyway, there is an ungodly amount of crazy old crap tucked away behind Roy's motel. And even though I'm not much for trespassing, I am gonna put my camera over the fence because I have to get a closer look at whatever that funky little, look at that, it's a three-wheeled car. What does it say on the front? Well, I can't quite make it out. Eh, whatever it is, it's just one of the many wonders to be found here in fabulous Amboy, California. So the next time you're headed from, well, no one ever really goes through Amboy anymore because even though it's on Historic Route 66, there was some kind of washout just east of here many years ago, five, 10 years ago, 15 even. And so the road has been closed for as long as I can remember. The only reason I happen to come through Amboy often is when I'm driving from Vegas, down to Joshua Tree. You go through the Mojave Preserve and then you go south and you come right through Amboy. So I guess next time you're headed from Vegas to Joshua Tree or from Joshua Tree to Vegas, stop in and take a look around Amboy. Even if you can't stay here anymore, I think it'll be worth your time.